Every living being, every human soul has a view of life which are normally created based on their choices and no one else really affects the mindset or the views of others except they decide on what they want to do. Dearest viewer and listener, I welcome you to yet another episode of Life Spells, your motivational series with me, Nana Otupridako. Now, pearl number 14. People will always see what they want to see, hear what they want to hear, smell what they want to smell, feel what or how they want to feel, and finally believe what they want to believe. Learn, therefore, to create your own reality very interesting indeed like i said in the prologue every human being has a mindset and majority of the time our interaction with people tend to affect a few lives to change what they think or how they perceive life but in reality people believe what they want to believe and create their own realities based on their interests so one's interest tends to inform how the person behaves. One's interest in life tends to affect what the person feels or sees or smells and all that. It is therefore important for you, my listener and viewer, to learn how to create your own reality without trying to please anyone. It is important to know that what pleases one person will displease another. And so if you fail to develop your own principles as an individual based on your beliefs, based on your view of life, based on your personal convictions and try to please people around you, then you will become a puppet on strings. And whoever pulls a string on you, the dance will change. You cannot please everybody in life. That is why in one of the pearls it was said that you neither beg for recognition nor acceptance when you know your true value. Yes, people will always see what they want to see. The color could be black, but they will choose to see it as being white and you cannot change that perception it is their choice and choices are free for everyone to make so learn to make your own choice too many people have failed in this life to achieve their greatest or maximum potentials why because they sought to please others people went to school to pursue certain courses just to please certain people that they cherish, people that they loved, without first looking at their own interests and putting their interests at the fore. These mistakes have been done by many. And you and I who are behind cannot tread the same path and repeat those same mistakes because he who is at last is he who learns. Those of us who are alive today must learn from the mistakes of those who went ahead of us. So learn to create your own reality without seeking to please anyone. You will stretch to the limits, trying to please everyone. At the end of the day, you will end up pleasing no one. Why? Because you could not carve out a principle of life for yourself. In order to keep that focus, and to pursue it with all within you and to pursue it with all that is within you. Those people you are seeking to please, those people whose attention you are seeking to attract, they always see what they want to see. They hear what they want to hear. They smell what they want to smell and they feel what or how they want to feel. So at the end of the day, they believe in what they choose to believe in and not what you are presenting. 
to them. If someone hates you and decides to detest whatever you do, you can turn to become an angel and they will still see you as a demon. So creating a reality in life for yourself, which will shape in your focus and vision in life, is that which will earn you a name. I believe that you are relating or you can relate to these things. How many times have you tried to defend somebody's interest in absentia, where they are calling the person name or trying to paint the person in a certain manner and you, knowing the truth, know that that is not how the person is. How many times haven't you experienced this? When somebody you know and respect is being painted black and you, knowing the truth and the facts, try to defend the person and those who are set on this journey of destroying that person's reputation refuse to listen to you. Such is life. People will always see what they want to see. Your show of love can be misconstrued and interpreted to mean hatred. What can you do? You cannot change that. So you must learn to create your own reality. Carve a life for yourself. Develop personal principles for yourself and pursue such principles with fear and trembling as if your entire life depends on that. It is only by so doing that you will stand out to become that hero, to become that icon you deserve to be. We were all created in our own unique ways. And we cannot see what people see or feel the same way they feel. There are people that you can never please. And wasting your precious energy and time trying to please these people will only stagnate you or retrogress you. But you deserve to make progress in life. You deserve to advance in life because you are a sovereign being created by nature to believe in your own realities and to pursue them. To end this conversation, let me repeat the quote by saying that all those people you see around you, both the cherished and the ordinary, will always see what they choose to see. They will hear what they choose to hear. They will smell what they choose to smell, feel what they choose to feel, or how they choose to feel. And finally, they will believe in whatever they choose to believe in. So do not waste your time trying to change their perception about life or about you. Only define and create your own reality and pursue it. Just ensure that you win. This has been Life Spells and I am Nana Otupri Dako. With these spells in your hand as a staff, keep moving. See you at the finish line and be an overcomer. Thank you.